Hey, hey, welcome back, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, let me start by, once again, thanking the essential workers, those that are out there still on the front lines uh, in the midst of everything that is going on. Okay, um, I have a couple of things for you, and I hope you get something out of this. You know, what I what I tend to do is, in while I'm learning, I share what I'm learning uh, what I'm being blessed with in my time of um, feeding upon the word. Okay, you know, I'm not professing to be no pastor or prophet or I just truly believe that God is showing us this dispensation of where you need to renew or continue your relationship with him on a one-on-one -on -one basis and i really believe that he is showing us that you have to understand he's showing us that he is bigger than the box everyone has been putting him into let me put it like that okay like i said i got a couple of things to share with you you know, in the midst of this coronavirus, you got people uh, dying, being sick, or being made sick, or however it's going. You know, you got to understand God is still in control. Okay, now, also, you got to understand how all this stuff has been played out. You know, I, what I tend to do, I'll try to open your eyes and draw your attention to the obvious, along with using my foundation as the word of God as it relates to what's going on in our present day in this natural world on earth, okay? As it relates to God's word. Now, pretty sure you may or may not put the pieces of the puzzle together. Every 10 years, there is a uh, U.S. census being done. And that census, which is the 2020 census, you know, by 15th of April, we're supposed to have this paperwork and stuff filled out and turned in. What the census does, it pretty much counts or the people that are living are still here. There are uh, being accounted for. So, I'm just saying, myself, I I see these things, I, I think about these things. Okay, now, I'm not saying some type of conspiracy or whatever, but just think. Stop and think. Okay, we, this coronavirus just pops up out of nowhere. Around the same time, we're about to do the 2020 census. Like I said, it happens every 10 years, okay? And within that census, they're finding out how many people live where, your race, your age, and your race, age, and uh, how many uh, children, elderly people, uh, adults, they're getting a census, which is the calculation of people on the earth or in this. I'm pretty sure every country does it. Even in the book of Enoch, it talks about when he went following or was led away by the Lord to go where he's supposed to go. And these people kept following him and he kept telling them to go back. OK, then when he got where he was going and the king sent out a patrol to do a census on the people that remain because Enoch was taken. Okay, and those people that followed him, there was no one, you know, there's big balls of ice that was up on the earth. Okay, now that's another lesson about the big balls of ice and it talks about the prophecies of big stones of ice in the book of Revelation. Okay, like I said, this Bible is lining up. The prophecies are lining up. All you got to do is stay aware Stay awoke and pay attention and have a relationship with your most high. Like I said, just sit back and watch him show you how much he loves you. Okay, now with that being said, let's let's get off into this word. 
there's a couple of things I want to show you in this word. Okay, now, like I say, when I'm bringing forth this word, uh, speaking of this Bible, what I've gotten out of it, you know, freely I receive, freely I give. Okay, now, if you are blessed, share it. Okay, if, if you don't get nothing out of it, it ain't for you. Okay, but the Lord is showing us that he's still removing, he's revealing, he's separating. Okay, whether it's man-made, how you feel about what's going on, you think somebody's doing this purposely, it don't matter. God used everything for his will, for his purpose. Okay, now, like I said, I got a couple of things for you. This is going to be kind of hard for a lot of people to grasp, but it's coming out the word. It's coming straight from the Bible. Okay, it's a lot of scripture that... When people teach the Bible, they won't go into. You can't cover the whole Bible and teach the whole Bible. You have to read it for yourself. Okay? People choose to pick and choose certain things out of the Bible. What I do, I come to you and I show you to help you have an arsenal to go research and study for yourself. You know, as I'm learning, I'm giving resources to you through the Holy Spirit through my understanding of what the word is saying. So you can go read it for yourself, okay? Now, with that being said, uh, I'd like for you to join me in the book of Revelations, okay? We're going to start the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 5, verse 8. We're going to do verse 8 through 10, okay? I just want to, you know, open your eyes to stuff that people may have not read to you out the Bible, or you may have not read for yourself, okay? All I'm doing is giving you tools to go and do your own research and read what you may not even know, because no one is going to tell you. <laughs> this is the book that is really gone into by people. They use certain scriptures out of it, but you need to understand it because the Bible tells you that the book of Revelation, it, to even hear it, you're blessed, and to read it, you're blessed. But people tend to stay away from it because it's the end of all things. The revealing of the end of all things. Okay, but I want to show you something. Just bear with me. I want to show you something. Check this out. Book of Revelations, chapter 5, 8 through 10. Okay. Like I say, where I start from... You should be reading above that, beginning of that, on your own already. Okay, I'm just showing you some stuff that stick out to me during my study. Okay, so you can go in and look at whatever sticks out to you and blend that in so you have full understanding of what you're reading. Okay, and this, I think, is a problem with a lot of people. Okay, Revelations chapter 5, 8 through 10. <clears throat> and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders, 420 elders, fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials, full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Remember, I told you a righteous Man, the saints' prayers go up like a, a sweet fragrance, like an incense. And the unrighteous man goes up his prayers like a stench. You can't be in agreement with somebody who is not, who is unrighteous. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but even the Bible says that. Okay, now let's go on. Nine, and they sung a new song, saying that thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou was slain. We're talking about Jesus now. And has redeemed us to God by the blood out of every kindred, pay attention, by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And has made us ten, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, 
and we shall reign, listen to this, on earth. It's coming straight out of the Bible, the book of Revelations now. Pay close attention. We supposed to be reigning on earth, so why everybody talking about rest in heaven and saying they having these dreams of being in heaven? Are they talking about heaven on earth? I'm just saying you got to pay attention to these things. Let me read that again. Okay. From 10. And has made us unto our God kings and priests. Yes, we will be kings and priests. I told you about that heavenly body. That we're going to be transformed to be just like him. Okay. You're going to get that uncorruptible body. Because without that body, you can't move in the light. The God's brilliance will burn you up. It will annihilate you. Okay? You got to be part of the substance that he has created or made of, which he's not created, but he is, his brilliance, which he is made of, you will be made of. Only angels can operate in that light. Okay? Darkness is not found in that light. This is what the Bible is talking about. Okay, and has made us unto our God, kings and priests, and we shall reign on earth. Remember the last video I was telling you about, ye are little gods, that only a God can live forever. Okay, only a God is considered to be immortal. Okay, and if you're going to reign with your king on earth, Forever, you are kings and priests, which are little gods. Not that you have power to fly and all this kind of stuff, which I'm pretty sure, you know, we don't understand the supernatural and everything, but we've been dumbed down to believe only what we see and what we don't see. Okay, now, I hope you're getting this. Let me read this again, because where I'm going to take you now, I'm getting ready to take you and show you who wants to be in heaven and who's not going to be in heaven? Because we're reading this from the book of Revelations. 10, and has, and has made us unto our God, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So why is everybody talking about they going to heaven? Uh, even I have my mom, my dad has passed. I have kin folks that have passed. But I never believed that they were in heaven because I know what this Bible say. It don't say nothing about going to heaven. Okay. Let me let me show you in the word. Okay. Um, turn with me to the book of Isaiah because we've been bamboozled. Okay, and I told you in many of my the videos that I was able to bring that the deception is coming from the man-made church. I'm not saying all churches are people that speak the word in these man-made buildings are lying to you, but you have to understand you cannot be recognized in this earth as a entity for as a church unless you have went back up under the Roman Catholic Church theology and what's been passed down and if they don't recognize you as a a church you, you you're not in operational you're no good to their agenda okay because they will shut you down if you're talking about the things that I'm bringing forth or other people that's showing you what the word really says they shut you down that's why the true prophets voice of Jezebel shut the prophets up. They wish you wouldn't even allow them in the kingdom to even talk. They, they only wanted the people to hear Jezebel's prophets. They didn't want the real word or the true word or the word of God coming forth through his true prophets. Can okay, I, if you will, turn with me to um, Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah 14. Let's go there. Because I'm getting ready to show you something most of you probably don't even realize because you people don't tend to read the Bible or they tend to always 
because we have these search church hmm, these church buildings and we go to hear someone preach the word or teach the word we tend to only use that as an avenue instead of reading for ourselves to show our own self approved because I truly believe within the midst of all of this God has something planned just like Satan is planning something because it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of little bitty things that's going on that is all going to come out in the end okay now Isaiah 14 12 through 14 pay attention how out, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations, nations, races, people? Talking about multitudes of people. Okay, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend. Pay attention. I will see ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. This is Satan talking. The spirit of Satan, Lucifer. He is the only one that wants to go into the heavens. Okay, now let's bring it down to modern day. Who is creating vehicles to go amongst the stars? Okay, let it sink in. Who is expanding and trying to find other planets to live on? Let it sink in. Satan, his children, he has a seed in this earth. And he has followers that do his bidding. Okay, now, he and they are the only ones that are trying to ascend into heaven. If you are sitting up under a teacher, bishop, pastor, church organization, telling you that you're going to be in heaven, the heavens? That's not what the Bible says. That's not what we just read. Okay? Now, let me go to another scripture, which is also in the end of the book, which is the revealing revelations. Let's go to Revelation 21. Let's go to Revelation 21. This is going to be the coffin nail or the nail in the coffin. Let's see what's back here for us. Chapter 21, verse 1 through 2. Okay, now this is dealing with what I just read. Okay, Revelations 21, 1 through 2. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, this is John's, what he saw, okay, what he was blessed to witness, okay. And I, John, saw the holy city. New Jerusalem coming down, not up, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Okay? New earth, New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem is the city which People confuse with heaven. Yes, it would be heaven on earth. Okay, but that the new Jerusalem is the new government of 
God the Most High, okay, that will descend from the heavens on earth. Our Father wants to be amongst us on earth, not in heaven. You got to read the Bible for yourself. Even, you got to understand, the book of Job talks about how Satan was running amok. He ran to and fro across the earth. He walked up and down. He was visiting. Okay, when they, the angels went to the throne room to give a report of what was going on the earth, he would go and accuse the brethren on earth. Okay, he still goes up and down. Okay, because God allows him to touch some of his certain servants and his people. Okay, to strengthen them, to encourage them. And it's not so much as a test, but God, he allows, say, because Satan can't do no more than what God allow him to do to you. So this coronavirus, it's, it's a multitude of things going on with this stuff because you got to understand, which is bringing me to my next point. But I hope you got this about heaven, earth. Okay, even the Bible tells you to meet shall inherit the earth. It doesn't say anything about living amongst the stars and skies and all this kind of stuff. It talks about New Jerusalem coming down, is descending upon the new earth. The old earth is going to be purified by fire, okay, not water. He promises with that rainbow which the Catholic Church and everybody else is taking that symbol. The blurred line, they taking that symbol. The homosexual, the gays, um, the pride, they have taken that symbol to be their own. Okay, now, read. I'm just pointing out stuff. Okay, don't believe me. Read for yourself. I'm just pointing out stuff for you to go read because a lot of people haven't told you these things or shown you the stuff in the Bible. Okay, now, if you will, I'd like for you to turn with me to the book of Isaiah. Like I told you, I got a couple of things I want to share with you. The book of Isaiah, we're going to take it up in uh, chapter 14, 12 through 14. Now, these scriptures that I've given you, I'm just reading certain verses out of it, but these are scriptures that you need to read for yourself, the whole scripture, okay, the whole scripture, I can teach the whole scripture, but I'm just sharing with you, dealing with what's going on today, certain scriptures that stick out to me, that I'm being shown to talk about and share, because somebody's going to be blessed by this, you know, some will get something out of it. Someone else will get something else out of it. And some won't have a slightest clue what I'm talking about or what the word is saying. It's not for everybody. Okay, We are supposed to move on to perfection. Not saying that I'm perfect, but we shouldn't bring people in telling them they just need to repent and pray and leave them like that. Okay, We are supposed to show them or encourage them to stay in the word because the word is the blood of Jesus that's going to keep cleansing you, okay? Which brings me to this. Isaiah 14, 12 through 14, okay? 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Something fallen from heaven onto the earth. Pay attention and remember what we talked about in the book of Revelation, how New Jerusalem is coming down to earth, the new earth, okay? And how nobody's going to heaven. They're going to be on earth, okay? Even the most high is going to be on earth. It, that's it. That's what he's, uh, his Desire is to be amongst his children on earth, not in heaven. If you want to consider it to be heaven on earth, by all means, 
But that's not what is saying. Okay, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations of people upon the earth? Okay. Thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. Okay. I'm just coming back to this so you can see how that ties in with what we just read in the book of Revelations. Okay. Now, let me finish. For thou hast said thine heart, I will ascend into the heaven. Okay, the saints ain't ascending into heaven. They're going to ascend into the heaven as far as the expanse. They're going to go so far up and meet Jesus in the sky. Not disappear in the sky. And go some uh, supernatural place. They're going to be right here on earth. Okay, on earth. Okay, now... With that being said, let me finish this. Uh, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will send into the heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. There's certain people here on the earth that are trying to play God. And they want to be like the Most High. Because if we are your little gods, our fathers told us we're little gods. Satan has deceived his children that they are gods also. You got to understand, you got Father God, the Most High, and you got Satan that's trying to be like the Most High. So if Father God, uh, the Most High, has children in this earth, Satan has children in this earth too, and he has promised them the same thing that our Father has promised us. Okay, and this is what's being played out in the earth right now. Okay, now, which leads me to this, um, Isaiah 6, turn with me to Isaiah 6, chapter 6, okay, Isaiah chapter 6, and I just want to share this with you, because all of this ties in, okay, all of this ties in, I know a lot of times, When I'm sharing, it seems like I'm all over the place. But if you know how God works, everything is done in order. Okay, it might seem like I'm everywhere, but everything falls into place. If you follow and read what the Bible says, you'll see how it all connects. Okay, it only confuses those that are perishing and don't understand the spirit. Okay, all right. This is Isaiah, the vision he had. Okay, now, this particular scripture refers to like a blocking spirit. And this is what's been going on right now with this coronavirus. Like I said, the Most High is revealing. He's taking the veil off a lot of things. So the masses... His children and people that are not his children to see because there's a line being drawn in the dirt right now. You're going to have to choose what side of the line you're going to be on. That is what's going on right now. Okay, we're going to take it up. Uh, chapter 6, verse 1. Okay, the book of Isaiah. Okay, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphim. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And once, and one cried unto another, and said, "Holy, holy." Holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house filled with smoke. Okay. Then I said, woe is me. Woe is me. 
for I am undone, because I am a man unclean lips, of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of unclean lips, unclean lips of people. Uh, I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips, for mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Okay, now let me drop down to him. You know, like I said, read that for yourself. Read that for yourself. Okay, but I want to show you this. Okay, let's drop down. Oh, eight. Um, I, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and whom will go for us? Then said I, here I am, send me. How many people are putting themselves in a position to be sent by God or the most high? Okay, nine. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. You don't, you won't understand consciously. You won't understand what we're saying, but you're going to hear me, but you're not going to hear me. You're going to hear me, but you're not going to understand what I'm saying or what we're teaching or what we're telling you. Okay, let's go back. Verse 1, in the year King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne. Okay, what was going on that no one could see the king sitting up on the throne or the Lord sitting on the throne while Uzziah was alive? Okay, 